Hello all. Have you ever wondered what it might look like? Somebody came up with a Russian knockoff of Windows? Well, today you're in the right place. Because today we have React OS. This is going to be part two because my last video with React OS had some issues, but I'm confident that this time I can give it a much better shake. And for those of you that are wondering, what a uh, React OS is, is that it's an open source attempt to reverse engineer and essentially clone Windows in open source terms. It's mostly done by Russian developers, although it's not exclusively a Russian thing, so I suppose it's not really quite a Russian knockoff, but hey, it's YouTube. We all gotta have a little fun in life. So here we are at the React OS. 0.4.14 setup screen. Now, I'm going to put this to test later on, seeing what I can do with it. But for now, let's just see if we can get it up and running in a virtual machine. So I'm going to go English Canada. So far, this installer really, really reminds me of like installing, installing Windows XP or something like that. We're going to hit enter to install it. And we're going to hit enter again to go into the setup. Yeah, the uh, settings look good. We're going to go for the home partition space. We're just going to do a quick format because this is a brand new virtual machine. Didn't need anything more than that. We're going to hit enter to format it. Boy, this is quick. This is really quick, actually. I like this. We're going to install the bootloader on the disk. Is that it? It's been installed that quick? I think this... What? I think this takes it for fastest install I've ever seen in my life. I wish Windows was this fast. Alright, so... Let's, let's just see... Give it a second here. Alright. Now let's see if it starts for us. I don't know how I had problems before, and now this time... It just starts like bang. So we're gonna go through the setup here. Okay, this is a list of acknowledgements of uh, open source projects that they've contributed to. Because one of the really, and this is something I actually give a lot of credit to the React OS developers for. A lot of what they have learned has been implemented in other open source projects, such as Wine, for example. We're gonna keep going. Oh, and it's GPL, which is nice. So let's see what we got for products here. We got React OS Server and React OS Workstation. I wonder what the real difference is, but I'm going to go with the default one because usually the default will be the one that's the least likely to give you trouble. Now, Hey, that looks good. Keyboard and stuff looked good. Owner and Vectus. We're going to go with that. There, now that that's done, we got our time zone, which I'm in a pretty unique time zone, so. And I'm going to take the lattice look, because, I don't know. Maybe I should go lunar. Go lunar, that looks kind of cool. We're going to go typical settings. No, this will not be part of a work group. And that's it. Wow. That was quick. Now let's see what happens when we reboot here. We're going to install drivers automatically. Okay, so the installation failed. No surprise there. <coughs> this is in a virtual machine. And wow. So far, this took me less than seven minutes to install. Now, do we have a network connection? It says here we do. Let's test it out. Do we get for a default browser with it? Or do we get any? Oh, we get games. Accessories, settings, React OS Explorer. Hmm. Oh, here we go. This is really cool. It comes with actual an actual package manager sort of so let's go ahead and install us a web browser 
We're gonna go find. Oh, yeah, okay, so the latest version that you look to have here is Zilla 52, which if I remember right is pretty old. But fine, we'll go for that. Install. That should even get us on the internet. The speed at which this is installed is absolutely breathtaking. I shouldn't be that surprised because this is a very, very long on a uh, standing a uh, attempt to clone. So in a lot of ways, it's actually kind of old. It's really been a project that's gone through a long, long history of fits and starts. But hey, we've even got a working web browser now. We're not going to import anything from Microsoft Explorer. It's detecting as Windows. Eh, see, we even get working a... Uh, there it is. Nice. Nice. So, this is what it's like when it's actually working. It's incredibly easy to install. And let's see how much resource it's using. See if I can bring up the, uh, the old task manager here. I'm not sure how this works. Yeah. Service manager. Let's see what that's like. Because I'm not sure how they've really implemented that in the, in this. We can see here what looks very much like a Windows service manager. I don't see anything like a task manager or system monitor. We have the device system configuration gives us. Normal startup. That's pretty cool. I and I files. Let's see what tool. Oh. Nothing like that under tools. So that's probably something they're still kind of working on. But let's see if they have anything in the uh, application manager. Search system monitor. Helps spell it right. Oh no. Ooh, they do have a version of Chromium too. Interesting. For those of you that are curious, this is what the current state of a. Uh, React OS looks like it's working way better for me this time than it was last time. And I'm going to take some time and make, and in the future, you'll probably see me do some videos around retro gaming on React OS and see what I can do with that. The game in particular I have in mind is Freelancer. So we might actually be able to have a little fun with it. But yeah, this time it actually worked. So don't forget to like and subscribe and pray every day.